try to do this today, guys. We try to go to work, deal with this evaluation, assessment, whatever you want to call it. But just pray for me on that. Boys. Last night during Bible study, um, or post Bible study, my wife brought the dog in. And the cat got out. This cat's an inside cat only. He's not allowed outside because he doesn't know how how to survive. He's not an outside cat been always protected and he gets outside and he panics well the farm cats decided to come over and say hi and he really panicked well he kept running and hiding instead of coming to us so we could take him in and my wife caught him and it was behind two sheds where it's very hard to get to well I grabbed a hold of him was holding him and trying to slide out of the spot where he was and he went into fight mode instead of flight. And he kind of put a bunch of holes in my hand. But, so my hand's all bandaged up from all the little puncture wounds. He got both hands, but the one is fine. I can work with it and deal with it. But it goes to remind me not what happens when we get cornered. We go into fight or flight. When Satan's trying to corner us and treat us like we're nothing, we're just garbage. <clears throat> we want to fight and snap back. what Satan wants. He wants you to fight. He wants you to snap back. Make you look bad so that he can have his reign. He don't want you in certain areas so he's going to make you look bad so you he pushes you to the point where you lose it. And you get fired from your job. Or you run and hide and don't do nothing. Then you self-destruct. See, that's what Satan loves to do to people. Satan get his foothold into your 
mind. He's going to take control of it. But he's going to do more than that. He's going to wreck, he's going to destroy your very being. He's not going to let you breathe. He is relentless. That's the word I'm looking for, relentless. The enemy is so clever at what he does. And he will not back down. He is like a dog to a bone. And he's going to use people whose cheese has slid off the cracker. Thank you, Mac. Because, yeah, he's going to use those people that the cheese has slid off the cracker or the elevator don't go to the top floor. He's going to use normal people. People you wouldn't think would go after you. And he's going to use them. Thank you and praise you. And we ask this in Jesus' mighty name. 